Norfolk Southern's 19,500 miles of track includes nearly 10,000 bridges. None of them are as long as the bridge our trains travel over to cross Lake Pontchartrain near New Orleans, Louisiana. This 5.8 mile span is one of the most challenging to maintain or repair. However, our seasoned crews have it down to a science. In fact, when Hurricane Katrina ripped up part of the bridge in 2005, our skilled team, working tirelessly and around the clock, put it back together in just 16 days. That's an amazing accomplishment. But unlike the Katrina emergency repair, our track maintenance crews are out on the bridge today performing a scheduled service to ensure safe and efficient operations. Their work involves giving the Pontchartrain Bridge a modest overhaul, replacing cross ties that are showing wear after years of exposure to hot weather and humidity. For this crew, that's an everyday job, but working over open water presents some extraordinary challenges for our tie and surfacing gangs, such as how to haul away the old ties. When the scrap relay ties come out, you got to put them somewhere. You can't just throw them in the lake. We uh, make arrangements to have material handling trucks. Pick those scrap ties up off the bridge itself and onto a barge that is secured in the lake uh, beside where the gang is working. Along with the barge, there are small boats on hand to pick up any scrap bits of tie that fall in the water. And we also bring in boats whose sole purpose is safety, to provide a quick rescue in the unlikely event someone ends up in the water. Up on the rails, our team operates some unique track equipment. Each of these heavy machines has a specific job, such as pulling spikes, removing ties, driving spikes, or tamping down the rock ballast. They work in concert like a well-oiled machine. They have to. They've got 7,700 cross ties to repair on this bridge over the course of just a few weeks. There are about 3,000 ties per track mile on most track, and on this job, the team plans to replace roughly 1,400 ties per mile, all on a 17-foot wide bridge in the middle of a massive lake. These folks are used to working in all kinds of weather, but down here, Mother Nature is unpredictable. It's a lot more challenging working over open water than it is uh, uh, working over a creek or a river. You have all kinds of challenges from uh, waves and tidal surges coming in and out, and wind and storms at all times. For instance, yesterday is about 70 degrees and no wind, in 15 minutes, it went to 50-something degrees, 30 or 40 mile an hour winds. Pretty big shift, and you don't have anything to block that wind off of you. And when the weather makes a turn for the worse, sometimes the gang has to turn around and get off the bridge. So we had to call it off, cut it, cut the day short, and uh, we had to kind of end it up. Uh, the lifeboat stayed out there until my last man was off the ground. And then we got everybody secured in the machines and uh, had to call it a day due to the wind and the weather. The gang will head back out when track time and weather permit and work safely and efficiently to get this vital work done. Then they'll pack up and move on to the next job. Our tie and surfacing crews, known as TNS gang, play a vital role at Norfolk Southern. They travel the entire system helping maintain our rail infrastructure. It's a tough job for a special breed of railroader. Their work and the work of rail gangs, bridge gangs, maintenance of way gangs, track supervisors and more is vital to keeping the steel wheels not just rolling, but on track. It's a group that I'm always proud of because you know, they get stuck in some of the toughest situations that, uh, that we encounter all across our system, rain or shine, we don't pull up for hardly anything. And you know, when the challenge is up against them, they step out and we never fail.